Sheriff Lobo and M4. And hey guys. Hello. The whole gang is here today. Yeah, we got the whole crew. We are doing our December tier list, closing out 2019. And before we get started, I just have a couple quick announcements. First one is if anybody knows or has a way to contact Rapunzel, used to be a member of the Owls, please reach out to me or NWO War. And um, one other thing, people have been asking why X player has not been on this tier list um basically the way we structured this tier list is we kind of have a voting group now and we feel like a lot more votes would kind of dilute what we're trying to do and also we're having the qualifier being the people that regularly reach the top echelon of siege because we feel like that gives you the best representation of endgame pvp so for example, if we have 2D Tron on, he'll vote up Supergirl, and you know, just it'll mess up our list. So we uh, had decided not to go. I'll play Roz. <laughs> <So, laughs> yeah. Rebirth Roz. He'll, so, yeah, so, you know. <laughs> so. so you basically uh, hate their saying people have won Siege before, plus Kage. Um, not necessarily won Siege, but Kage just kind of um, you know he regularly places high i mean granted he threw away the last siege by quitting at the end but um you know he might have been able to win and congratulations to loot for winning your first siege yeah thank yeah. you Lou, you're on a roll i mean um congratulations to m4 for loot winning his first siege no, yeah that's right he's my sensei master sensei m4 oh i, I think what we should just do is a hammer Without sensei. Um, I'm just I'm just saying we should timestamp when we talk about a character. That way oh, people I'm, can I find it easier. I have a pad in my hand that I'm going to do it for myself oh. for video purposes. Oh, nice. And I will be including it as well. Okay, cool. And uh, so how's everybody's holidays? Kage, did you get anything um, special or fun from one of your many girlfriends? Yeah, I got a couple of things, but... You know, we know what best thing was uh, <laughs> best thing I was I got I got an all you can eat buffet. You know, trip to uh, sushi land. So I'm, that was sure cool. you, I'm sure you were eating some raw fish. <laughs> I think he got a new pair of high heels. Oh yeah, and the uh, stripper boots too. Stilettos, right? That's what they're called. <laughs> <laughs> Stilettos. Sheriff, how was your holiday? Did you um? Get any of your prison prisoners uh, shanks or anything? No, I'm done with him. Thank goodness. Oh, good. <laughs> Just some hacksaws. <laughs> there we go. I did get an Oculus Quest for Christmas, and I have to say that thing is amazing. I've never been so impressed. I didn't think I'd like it. I didn't, wasn't really in the VR, but. My wife was struggling to find something for me and read reviews on it and got it for me. I am so addicted, it's ridiculous. It is way better than I ever jealous. imagined. I want it. It is so cool. I mean, it is like leaving reality when you get in that thing. And the stupidest Do you have game. Star Wars? Yeah, it came free with it. I actually haven't played it yet because I'm not big a big Star Wars fan, but it uh it's it's fun as hell. There's this one game called Elven Assassin. You have a bow and arrow, and you're shooting all these zo goblins and trolls and dragons that are flying in, and it's just, it's so real. It's ridiculous. It even feels like you're pulling the bow back the way the controllers vibrate. But anyway, that we are getting way off topic. So let's get into the tier list. This is going to be a very long episode because we have like a thousand characters on here. So we're going to do a little different. If things haven't really changed much, or we all kind of have the same. Um, score. We're going to move quickly past the character. So we may or may not spend a lot of time on your particular favorite character, but the characters that are new to this month we'll try to talk about a little bit more in depth. And we do have, I don't know if this episode will come out before or after, but we do have meta reports that we're behind on that we'll try to get out soon, either before or after this episode, depending on how fast our artist gets us done. With that, let's get started. 
So first character on this is a reworked character, which was Arcus Chump Chumunk Chipmunk. However you pronounce it. Arcus. <laughs> 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 so we'll start okay, with I don't know if he's a monkey or a chipmunk or a uh, space goblin. Chipmunk. I don't know what the heck he is. Whatever he like is. A werewolf. Yeah, I don't think the comic books have ever said what he is either. He's just some crazy alien. But his rework was pretty darn awesome. I was actually struggling with debating if he was A or S tier. I lean towards A just because he's just a damage machine and he doesn't really do anything else. Um, Kage, we'll start with you. What were your thoughts on him? So, a lot of people made the comparison between him and Power Girl, and I think they are both different. Um, Arcus has more on-demand or burst damage, whereas Power Girl, you're kind of soaking up damage and you're sustaining that damage a little bit, and then you're applying that damage later in later on in the match. Now, the way reason I think I lean toward S tier is because he's got more plug-and-play value and a lot of the other characters. Red Hood, for example, wants his kill potential for the meter ruling. Deadshot Hire Gun. I mean, this guy's going to kill someone. He's going to kill a blue under Deadshot Hire Gun. Um, Brainiac wants him because he's going to give him the speed. Hal Jordan wants him because he's going to give him the shields off the bat. He just goes with any leader, any viable leader right now. Lex even wants him right now. So he, he goes in a, a lot of different comps. And he's going to take over a match. So I think that's going to fall under the basic definition of what an S tier should be. Now let me ask you guys a quick question before we get further into the characters. Do we want to start adding a plus or minus to characters for characters that are on that borderline? It's, it shouldn't be that much more work for the artist. I mean, if it is, we'll, he'll let us know. But I'm okay with it. Just because some characters really, they're so close that maybe they deserve a plus or... Maybe if you just stick to pluses, that might be Yeah, easier. forget the minus, just the minus, plus. Yeah. Just a plus, so they're almost the next tier. Okay. But well, we I... do need the, we need the minus, like a blue beetle for an F minus. Can we make an exception? <laughs> yeah, well, we'll do it. What do you think trash minus would look like? A landfill? <laughs> <laughs> He's landfill! <laughs> yeah, maybe we get a little trash can symbol. <laughs> <laughs> that works for me. M4, what are your thoughts? Uh, it's too early. He says he might be the best single target nuke out there, but I can't quite give him an S yet. I might change my mind after Siege. The reason being is he needs help. He's too slow to do his thing. Unlike Power Girl, he's different with Power Girl, but Power Girl just being there, you know, he's going to do something. Arcus can get one shot by any strong blue, so he might not even, you don't see him as a threat. And also his AI sucks, he just buffs incessantly, right? So I can't quite give him you know, that's actually He's a bug. So darn good. You know, that's actually a bug that he buffs on auto, but, you know, let me ask you this. Red Robin has a crap AI, but you make Red Robin nest your character. So, what's well, up with that? Have, have you faced him? Like, he does those uh, trips with his stick all the time, like, twice. Okay. Even before you take your turn, so. Arcus slaps, you something. better you better hope you kill Arcus, because that, guy that guy's going to slap you back and kill you. I See, I don't I don't fear Arcus yeah, at all when I face him. I That's, that, 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 Red Robin, exactly. I do find more annoying on defense. I don't annoying really risk. weight my scores on defense, but I do find Red Robin much more, more of a threat than Arcus when I face him. Because... Our top S tiers are both blues. Just saying. Loot, your thoughts on Arcus? Oh, you caught me mid bite. Move on. <laughs> we'll go to Sheriff Lobo. <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff Lobo, your thoughts on Arcus? <laughs> yeah, I think he's an A. Um, I, I agree with what everybody else has said. His uh, his taunt is nice, but usually if you use it, he kills the other person. So there's less use there because it's on a move that just wipes them out immediately. His retaliation is pretty awesome. Um, and like everybody said, his health is low. So he's, you know, dies immediately to any of the, any of the strong blues. And, you know, you all know I've always been an advocate of Power Girl S tier. I still think that Power Girl is better than we'll uh, Arcus. Better. <laughs> but Arcus is his, I mean, his damage was, you know, 
so much increased with this rework. So, yeah, you can yeah. punch mystics. And Luda, are you done stuff in your face? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> um, I, I think what we should do with Argus is, you know, we can totally rate him now, but I think he needs to be rated again next month, like after we actually play Siege. Well, we will. We will. So I think for right now, he's an A. Yeah, I think... I'm not convinced that he's S. He is so squishy. Wonder Girl just demolishes him. Um... His taunt is really weird, too. Like, it only works, like, when he p applies it to the other, like, applies it to the opponent. It only works properly if it's a blue. Because if it's a red or a green, whoever it is, they're going to die immediately. <clears throat> like, yeah. he's, th he's that strong. He will kill any red or green, no problem. Yeah, and I think that that's kind of where I didn't want to put him as an S yet, too. He's super strong, and I was, I was really torn. I think maybe he's an A plus, but he's um, he needs a little bit of help to get rolling. I think is my only my only beef with him. But awesome character, awesome rework. They did a really good job. So moving on, I will. I was the only person that put him on the list, so we'll make, keep this one short because it looks like everybody wants to keep him a B. But the reason I voted Beast Boy as an A is that his biggest comparison is CH is Castaway Green Arrow. And everybody says, well, he's kind of like Castaway Green Arrow Light, which I think puts him as an A because Castaway Green Arrow is a solid S. So that's that was their reasoning. I thought he deserved the A treatment because he has all the turn meter. He has the debuff immunity. He's pretty tanky for a red. Um, so I thought he would he would deserve the A treatment. But it looks like we're going to leave him as a B. I think you just like him as an A because you play him so much with Lex. He is he does seem like an A or S tier even under Lex. Because all his moves buff. Under Lex? Yeah, I would I do I do I do wanna say that uh Beast Boy shines under like other Terminator characters. So like pair him with like Mary or whoever. I mean that's great, but yeah, that's all I got. So maybe a B plus. <laughs> so, we'll move on to Black Manta. Here's another one I decided to add to the list because I just kind of, in the last, the last little while, he has seemed like a character that doesn't really deserve A. He was at the time an A, but there's been so many great leaders that have come out that have kind of outshined him. I just don't see his use anymore. So I kind of knocked him down to a B. It looks like everybody but Kage agreed. So Kage, um, what was your thoughts on Black Manta remaining an A? Well, he does have um, he do, he pairs very well with two of the best leaders right now, Lex and Red Hood. Um, Manta has that buff move where he gets the True Sight, and so he's going to get uh, another turn to uh, kill off anyone who's not taunting. He, so he's he's going to do very well to slap down bleeds on a ton of people. I think he he still sacks more bleeds than uh, Red Hood, just slightly. With his basic, and then, um, yeah, with Lex, he's just gonna buff himself and you know get get the health he needs because he's very squishy. But other than that, I think he's still solid. I don't think he. I don't think I. I don't think the meta's changed to where he doesn't have enough value. Well, that was where I don't really see. Like I would take Beast Boy over him in most matches. And that's where I don't think he deserves the A treatment. Yeah. I agree. I, I think that's kind of. Yeah, I think that's kind of like kind of to, I him. think that's kind of oranges to apples, though, because they they, you, they play differently. Beast Boy is more of a control character. Manta is more of like straight damage, aggressive bleeding. I still feel like he's a little more niche than he's not plug and play that most of the A characters are. Yeah, I I used to use him a lot before Red Hood, and I think Red Hood kind of knocked him down a peg. So, you know, I think a, an important question is when would you bring Manta over Red Hood? And the only time that I use Manta anymore is uh, facing Barda or if there's a lot of men there yeah. on the other team. Yeah. Right. So I think he's still good. He's still useful. But a lot of times I would prefer to have Red Hood and save those other slots on my team right. for the, someone else. The one thing Red Hood does better than him 
is the application of the hail immunity because mm-hmm. Red Hood applies it right away. Yeah. Yeah, Manta, you need to wait for their turn to come up, and then even then, it's kind of... If you're fighting right. something, but sometimes it can still fall off, too. So. Yep. All right. All right, let's move on. Okay, moving so on. Booster Gold. I was so high on him for so long, but I really just... I've noticed, especially in the last while, with the Lex meta becoming a thing, and it becoming a little more difficult to have direct you know instant kill and then also i i still run into the problem where wonder girl just strips off my true sight for booster gold i knocked him down to an a um kage you left off a score but we'll go we'll start with sheriff you still have him as s tier yeah i think he's um super valuable super helpful i think really he's gonna be um Probably the MVP in this upcoming siege, I'm predicting. Uh, you know, his true sight, his shoot under shields, his uh, damage immunity, remove buffs. I think he does a lot and does it pretty good. I mean, I, you know, I, I agree that he's kind of, you know, with the tunes that have come out recently, he's not as useful, but I still think he's, a, you know, one of the top reds in my book. Luke, what do you think? So I took him down to NA, um, mostly because every time I use him, I bring him to kill Wonder Girl a lot of times. And what happens is Wonder Girl strips his true sight before I could use him. So it's, like, really frustrating. So instead of an S, I put him as an A. But I will say this. Today I think he's an A+. An a+. However tomorrow I might say he's an S again because I think he's going to be very, very useful against these new lantern gods that are coming out. Yeah, St. Walker and Alan Scott under St. Walker, his booster is going to be required. So, yeah, we might change our tune again. I have a feeling that booster is going to be an S plus against that meta. If yeah. it is a meta, he's going to be a king. Kage, you didn't put a vote in there. Yeah, I decided to refrain from voting. I, I can see both sides of the argument. That's why I kind of refrain from uh, re- voting. I use him from time to time, but you know I do share Luke's frustration. But at the same time, I see Lobo's you know argument that he brings a lot to the table with just one character. So... Kind of tough to for me to say. I think he's maybe A plus, S minus. M4, <clears throat> you're kind of on, I think you're at the M- A plus. No, I'm going to vote him down to B. Because <laughs> you want to make the only D? one. Is... is he trashed here? Yeah, yeah, he is. So I'm the only one he's person trashed. who has it. Yes. Nobody should use him. Yes. I should be the only one who takes him to RB5. Ignore him. <laughs> <laughs> he, he sucks no my opinion of him has not changed but I encourage everyone to vote him down so people sleep on him alright so moving on we will go to a character that nobody else cares about but I will admit that wait I but would... what was your verdict what was your verdict on Booster is he going to be downgraded guess, to an A I think A plus I think is what the scoring would show uh, be- before we move on to this next character, let's sneak in Brainiac real quick because okay. I think he's an A. I okay. think he's an A character. Uh, the reason being is because I have two green leaders I'd rather use over him, Lex and Hal. Um, what am I ever going to use Brainiac for that is really important? The turn meter up? You better pray to God that you kill the other team bef- with your extra turn, otherwise... Brainiac's not doing anything. He's dead weight after that first turn. Sheriff, I saw you vote, so I'll let you go next. Yeah, I think that... um, I don't know. I might put him in a 4.5 because that... Just because of the turn meter. The turn meter's awesome. Um, And also, with Arcus now, like the retaliations, he kind of neutralizes that. So that will be... 
good and helpful. So maybe I'll go 4.5. But, you know, with uh, the other green leaders, I think that he's probably third behind, as Kage said, Lex and Hal. M4, I know you really like Brainiac, so I'll let you go next. I, I, I do. I mean, whenever you see him, you kind of think, how am I going to deal with this? Because his whole team is going to go before me. I mean, I can deal with Lex using using Brainiac because Lex never gets that speed advantage because unlike Brainiac, he needs someone to take a turn to give his, his team the turn meter. And I never have the problem not being able to take anyone down. Right? I mean, there's so many nukes. Like Argus, his problem is speed. If you put him under B12, he won't. He'll kill anyone, right? As long as there's no Donna Troy out there. He'll destroy anyone in his way. So what is your vote? Is it... 4.5. He's, he's, he's a solid ass, yeah. Okay. And Luke, how about you? What did I have on the sheet? You had nothing, because we didn't vote yet. Right. No, no, no. What did I... Didn't you... we... I thought we did no. ask for B12. No. Originally, we had S, but you haven't voted oh. on him because Kage just added him to the list just now. Oh, just now? Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with an A. And the reasoning is exactly what y'all just said. However, I don't know. Some things might change in, in a couple days. So, so he's on the to, verge. So just to rebut... Retaliation. Um, just to rebut M4, though. Um, it sounds like it's Brainiac plus Black Adam or Brainiac plus this fast character that makes it scary, not Brainiac himself. When I see Wonder Girl, on the it, it, side, it, you're like, oh, right. Crap. It's not just him, right? It's, yeah, it's the, it's the same meter with Lex, and right? And yeah, but that's yeah, exactly. Lex, Lex that's Lex why they're them. leaders. Yeah. Right, that's why they're leaders. They're supposed to make their team better, right? How Jordan by himself sucks, right? He doesn't. How do Jordan? Much other than how that. Jordan? How Jordan is just the hammer. outside the leader slot too. No, he got the team shield, the AOE shield up. Well, Brainiac and the call the same is. argument for Brainiac. Brainiac, you is, can use him outside a leader so much off right. leader. Didn't you see him last siege? Yeah, you can Whenever use him off last leader, siege, but what? He was in everywhere. He's, he's yeah, but he was dead weight after that his first turn. And Brainiac's damage is a lot better than Hal. If you're left Hal alone with any other green and sometimes even red, you can't win. Brain, like you can take out other reds or greens if it's just him. With uh, three, but I'm not seeing the damage with his two or one or his basic. I I see Brainiac as a solid S. That turn meter up. You if you have to deal with it. You can't avoid right. that turn meter. Plus, when he is leader, having protection against Wonder Girl and even more so the retaliations. No, Arcus, Power Girl, MJ. I mean, he's got a lot of he's got a lot of good uh, a lot of good things. Mm -hmm. So we um, looks like we're leaving a mess. Is that what the numbers say? Yeah, I put you as a four. Kage is a okay. four. M four is M four point five. Share upgraded to five. So yep. So all right, S tier, baby. I, I've always thought he was S tier. I, I, he's one of those characters I want to rebirth, but I just I have so many blues. I mean greens. I just have endless greens. So, all right, moving on to the character so I want to talk about that nobody sense. else does, and I will concede that I was completely wrong on Connor Kent, who I absolutely love now. He's been my go-to red for everything, and the reason is because he shuts down a lot of these new problem characters like he will shut down lex he shuts down i mean not completely shuts down lex but he makes it so that characters that you don't want them to get buffed up to infinity right away for two turns shuts down arcus arcus doesn't he's and he's a physical character that makes arcus not useful but i like too all the different leader characters like power girl wonder girl or not Wonder Girl, but Wonder Girl keeps her from getting 8,000 strength ups to nuke your team into oblivion. And then once he gets those three strength ups, you can AoE and wipe out most blues. His single target attack kills most blues. I was really surprised at how long I slept on him. So I would actually vote him as high as an A. I'm surprised that people still loot. You have him as a D. Trash! <laughs> <laughs> 
Connor Kent is garbage. <laughs> He's even tanky. He can actually take hits from. I've actually right, been hit so by Arkham be and not fair, been wiped out. To be fair, I, don't I, haven't, about that. I haven't used him since he came out because I think he's terrible. Like, he was doing nothing for me. He was dying. Remember, and... <laughs> yeah, I'm my kidding, Connor can die a lot, too. I was using him too. in endgame PvP, not rape. So, I was like, this is ridiculous. He died. You just look at him and he's dead. Oh, he doesn't die that easy. He can he can take a few hits. The... That buff immunity is good though. I, I might have gone a little bit too hard on the on the down vote. So, if anything, I would say he's a B. See, that's that. I mean, not B. trash. See, but I am I am willing to give him a three point five. Three point five. Okay. Wow, that was a big jump. You went from one to three point five. 3.5, final answer. Kage, you have him as a C still? Yeah, I used him maybe for three days just to see what... I, I do like his buff immunity, but he just takes so long to get rolling to me. Like we said on the, on the previous meta report for him, you know, you spend that first turn with that buff immunity, and then but the, most he just kind of the time sits that, there. Well, that's where... I used to not like him because of that, but now I've come to realize that's the, the move I want to use first turn every time anyway. Because that, right. that's his strength. Okay, so he, bu so he puts buff immunity. Then what? Then you go with the rest of your characters, and then you use his AoE and kill everything. Yeah, and then and Arcus is then no longer useful. Power Girl is no longer useful. It, Anybody that needs those buffs is just no longer useful. It's strong, but I'd rather use Wonder Woman POT if I'm going to use Buff Immunity. Or, Wait, uh, but what new, is his speed? Or the Ultraman guy. 170... Does he, does, one, does 115, I think. A speed person to he, get He him goes him after Wonder Girl, to, so he's 115, I think. Well, usually she buffs so and then I strip her buffs. So is he fast enough to do that immunity? No, he, no he's slower than Wonder Girl, is what I'm saying. But I, you don't have to use him as leader like you do with Pot. That's where... And I usually want to bring other mystics, so he's my physical slot. Is what I like about him. So then bring Ultraman or whatever. Ultraman I mean, he's. Trash. I mean, or Beast Boy even for that buff meeting. He's faster than Beast. Or Beast well, Boy's Beast faster. Boy doesn't. But the thing is, is against Hal Jordan, Beast Boy doesn't strip the buffs. Connor does, and Connor doesn't miss with that buff immunity. So if it's MJ, I can get rid of all her buffs and get, put buff immunity on her, so she can't get any more evasions. Red Robin does it for free. Yeah, I'm still going to leave him as a C. Sheriff Lobo, I see you're making some adjustments. Yeah, I'll give him a B. Um, I, uh, you know, I think when, when we talked about him uh, in his month, I was a little higher than most everybody else, but I don't think I've come up much. But I think he does what he does, and he does it well. He has good damage, and that buff immunity is good. But I rarely see myself picking him over some of our red A's. And he fits in nice with those strength teams, so I think he kind of fits the definition of a B, now that I think about it. And M4. We'll let you. Yes. The same. He's usable, but like Sheriff said, I'm not going to use him over some other red. And that's fair. I, if B's fair to me. I think C yep. was a little too low for him. Okay, so he's moved up to A, B. All right, moving on. Um, I added him just because we had him as an A, Deadshot, Suicide Squad, Hitman. We were real high on him at first. Now he's been out for a while. I don't find myself picking him very often. He's a solid character, but I kind of feel like he fits a B. Looks like everyone else is pretty much in agreement on that. Um, anybody have any strong opinions that want to chime in on him before we move on? <laughs> Uh, somebody's calling in to give an answer on that. <laughs> no, I think when we, I think we were just so scared of him when he came out because yeah. of that uh, retaliation too. But realized that yeah, it's not such a mm -hmm. big deal after all. And now, even with Ultraman, you can just send those bleeds back. Hal Jordan shuts it down completely. Brainiac, right? So he died before he can really do anything for me. So yeah, that's it. And then on 
The next character on the list we'll not even talk about because of the change. He was a Siege character, Etrigan. He definitely showed his worth in Siege. He was on almost every single team, just about. And um, I heard he's not very good, though. Yeah, I mean... I don't know where I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it somewhere. <laughs> next one we had on the list, we had a solid C, was Hippolyta. Hippolyta, whatever you want to say. She, um... We had her as a C. Kind of felt like she was too high because she's just so yeah. bad. Um, I voted her down to a D. Looks like Loot had her as a solid F, so I'll let you go first. She like, is trash. That woman does nothing. <laughs> and, like, she has so much... Like, her moves are... Her strength ups are useful, but they're not. Um, her, like, shield thing she does is pointless. Her attack's terrible. She does nothing. To me, she is the definition of trash. Like, I have zero desire to use her. She does nothing for me. She's garbage. All right, tell us how you really feel. (laughs) (laughs) I I think her problem is she's just uh, way behind all of the rework. So, um, I used to use her a lot, especially in red alerts, and I think that you know, with a good rework, she could be valuable again. But right now, she's just, there's absolutely no reason to bring her for anything. Sure, if you, it's, you probably used her, I think you're probably the only other person who used her a lot. But how would you rework her uh, kit? Because I, I, I feel like she's got a lot of potential to be, like, a really good support character. But I think that, mm-hmm. that leader slot is kind of, like, you know, pointless. What do you think? I don't know. I mean, with her, um, you know, her lore kind of fits with being a leader. And I like kind of the idea that you can pick whether you want to use her to make your team stronger on offense or defense. I think that's kind of a neat idea that you can pick one or the other. I don't know. I would have to give it more thought before I, you know, kind of figure out a rework. But. I think I think what I used to use her a lot for was like pairing her with DOJ. DOJ would use her basic. She gets the stamina up and then gives the whole team stamina up, you know. So mm-hmm. I thought that was a kind of a cool trick. Yeah, she she could be a cool character. Like she's got the bones of a great kit. She just needs some help. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, survive I, I think I think we had her as a C before because she's the sole uh, reliable source of stamina ups. But now Barda does it for free. So that's... You're never going to bring her for strength ups. Wonder Girl does it so much better. And she's so much faster. So her main thing before was stamina ups. Now there's Barda, so... Yeah, but Wonder Girl would use Hippolyta and Coda together in my red alert teams a lot of times to kind of get those, like, massive strengths up. And now Wonder Girl does what the two of them did together so okay well moving on next we have jay garrett who i've started to like a little more i mean i'm not gonna go crazy we had him as a d i kind of feel like he's a, a c character he's does he can do okay damage occasionally and especially under lex he's really fun and the turn meter stealing while it's not great it semi kind of useful occasionally so it kind of felt like that deserved to be upgraded to a C. M4, it looks like you agree. Yeah, he's almost usable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's a D. I think trash, D, yeah, D is the almost usable kind of tier. Yeah, maybe maybe he's still worth a D. C is like Stargirl, like, hey, she's she's got her niche. It's good niche, I guess. Could be a little bit better. J is like, this kind of works, but doesn't. And Luke almost still can't has. miss. Luke still has. He's added. still trash to me. You yeah. know, I was. I remember when Lex came out, you were like, "Even Jay Garrick's great." So I was like, "Okay, I'll try it." So I put Garrick on my team with Lex. <laughs> it it didn't it didn't change my view on him at all. I, I still think he belongs in a landfill. I even used him in Siege a couple of times. Of course, I came in 10. I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> so. But that's when you 
kind of gave up already, right? <laughs> <laughs> but it didn't matter. You have that RV5 flash, so just you could bring three trash tier tunes plus him and you still win. Yeah, that's true. All right, so it looks like he remains a D. Moving on, another new rework character that was a Siege character was Joker Khan, Prince of Crime, who ended up being a very good rework. Uh, Luke, I'll let you start with him since you put him, you have him RB2 or RB3 now. He's RB2. I think he's awesome. I don't, what did I have him as, a B? You have an A. Oh, I have him as an A? Yep. I think he's awesome. He does a lot of cool stuff. Um, his retaliation is just amazing. You know, once he, once the enemy has some bleeds, he can kill the other team without even having to get a turn. Especially mine because he's higher, like higher power. So in siege, I was just wrecking the other team. You get him a couple int ups, and then boom, they're all dead from that AOE. Yeah, he's. So I really like him. I think he does a lot of cool different things. I really love his retaliation. I think that skill where like he dies and then does those, does that move is stupid. I think that was a waste. But all the other things, I think he's. I think that makes him an A. Sheriff Lobo. Yeah, I like him. Um, I agree with uh, everything Luke said. His special, the fact that he special damage is really good, especially for taking out blues. Um, his intelligence down is really helpful. So if you've got like um, Lex or Cyborg Superman, you just keep putting intelligence downs on them, and you can. You know, neuter them until somebody else can take them out. But he's he for me, he's like really super weak. For some reason, every time he's on my team, no matter which slot I put him in, he's the first one that's targeted by everybody. So like even the blues target him first on my team for some reason. Like doesn't matter what, he always gets taken out and targeted first. He is a glass can. That sounds like hate mail's RNG. <laughs> Yeah, I have the same problem. He died. That the, my only complaint on him is that he dies so fast. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly why I rebirthed him for siege. Yeah, to give him extra extra health. That's the main reason. M four, your thoughts on him? Yeah, I think he's a B plus. He's he's good, but he can't do what he needs to do if he dies so quickly. So. Uh, he needs help. One, if there are faster bleeders than him, he's going to do great. If you can get him a little bit more health or int ups, that's going to help him immensely. But the thing is, he's not quite plug and play. because He's never going to do his thing if you just, you know, slot him in. You need to build a team around him. That's why I can't give him an, an A, but once you build around him, maybe take him RB. He's really great. Kage, okay, final thoughts? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still thinking. I, I can see M4's argument because you wouldn't really ever run him out of a side of a bleed team. Uh, but he does self-synergize, whereas Deadshot, Suicide Squad, he only has one bleeding move, I think. Um, I don't know, I think, I think Joker's like a low A. Because I think we were using him a lot initially during Siege because Swamp Thing was everywhere, but the meta kind of devolved to like Owlman, Black Adam, Wally West. So I don't know. I, he he do he neuters intelligence characters really well. Uh, I think he's low A. Yeah, low A, B plus. I I kind of agree with that. He's I like him for his heal immunity because you can nuke blues like Swamp. I usually I bring him a lot against Swamp Thing or characters like that because I know he'll kill and do the heal immunity right away. Especially with Lex with the intellect ups. I also like him with Yellow and Sinestro. They the, that pair pairing works pretty well. So when you're trying to make Yellow and Sinestro work, he is the character that can actually do it. All right, moving. If they didn't make. Oh God, I just got one final thought. Yeah, on, go ahead. On him. Uh, if they didn't bring Black Adam as a bonus team, Joker would have been the MVP of that siege. Yeah, definitely. All right, moving on. We have. Kid Flash. I put him on here just because we have him as a C, and I really felt like he was a B character, but it doesn't look like too many people agree with me. But he, um, 
that the initial turn speed down he's i don't know he feels like a low b character in my mind i mean i could kind of go either way but um m4 it looks like you also agree yeah his stock is rising because third meter is batman style speed uh Lou, what do you think on kid flash you still have him as a c I no difference in opinion. How about you, Sheriff Lobo? Um, my mind hasn't changed. Uh, as far as the uh, speedsters go, the other ones that buff are better. Um, so, eh, I, I haven't improved on him any in my mind. Okay, so maybe we'll we'll give him a C plus. Kage, you're kind of in that C plus mindset, right? Yeah, he's he's one of those characters that under Lex is great. Otherwise, skip. See, I don't really use him under Lex. I don't really find him to be good under Lex. But speaking of Lex, moving on to Lex, we have um, a graphical error that showed him as a D, but he was actually an S tier character. But we, um, I think everyone agrees. S, M4, you're the only one that doesn't quite have him as a solid 5. Yeah. And you know why, right? <laughs> yeah, because you don't Cause... want him. <laughs> no, it's not just that. If if you face Lex versus Lex, whoever goes first is... yeah. wins, you know. That's why I don't like him. I will admit that I'm already a little bored of the Lex meta. I mean, I don't mind facing him. He's not really a problem. It's just... Exactly. I, I don't know. That's why I, I, don't like I actually do You know what, though? I think in another day, things are going to change. I'm not and sure. I don't think Lex is going to change, but I do think there'll be a new a new leader that we can play with. I am super excited about that, but I'm not positive it's going to change things, because if you go first and you're using Lex, you usually win. Yep. True. I'm not sure. I, I hope so. I hope there's teams that are... Because it seems like right now, defensive teams are a thing of the past. Like you, There's no team that's really that hard to beat at the moment. Here's my thoughts. I haven't got to talk about Lex. Oh, go ahead. So, um, I think he's a lot of fun. So, I've, you know, like you guys were saying on an earlier podcast, he's a lot of fun to play with. And I think he's less annoying to face than uh, Hal Jordan's buff immunity. So, if you're facing Lex teams, to me, you know, I, I like to debuff with bleeds or heal immunity. So, he's not as, like, you know, boring to face to me as as the how meta was, but I like the how meta better because with like Lex and Arcus, the new trend that's coming back is super speed and high damage. Like whoever goes first wins because you get all the turn meter, and now you have these super insane high damage characters that can one shot everybody. So it's you know uh, turn meter speed one turn. <laughs> In this your is gear ten all over again, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like that was you know something that I thought we had left behind. I enjoyed playing with kind of the shield and the tank meta where you had several turns and you had to kind of be more strategic about planning out your moves. And now it's just go first, damage, wipe out the other team. So that's not my favorite style of play. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. And hopefully, Saint Walker's buffs is enough to you know allow for a tank meta to still kind of thrive of some kind, which I think it might. I mean, it's possible with that shield, and you might see Hal and Alan Scott and St. Walker. I wish, I really wish we had a different physical turn zero taunter that doesn't rely on evasion. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like we're missing that slot. Yeah, yeah the closest I think thing we have is awesome. Penguin. I agree. Yeah. Penguin might work with that team, actually, but he doesn't always taunt. All right, moving on. We have Owlman, who I was really hoping was going to be a meta tier level character, but on paper it looked good. Definitely wasn't quite what I hoped. Still pretty decent character. In my mind is a solid B. Loot, you have him as a C, so I'll let you start. I just don't. I don't think he's good. Like his buffs are a problem. Like, you want them, but you don't, because Wonder Girl will just get very, very upset, (laughs) and then she'll kill you. 
Um, his fifth skill is start with those agilities. That's also problematic because Wonder Girl gets very upset and then kills you. His big hit is okay. It's not. It's not Booster Gold big hit, but it's it's good. I mean, it, it helped in Siege. I just I feel like he does. What he does is not what I thought he was going to do. He's not Steppenwolf. He does not do what Steppenwolf does. He, to me, he's just not that good. So I'm giving him a C. He's usable. I'm not saying he's not. I just, he, he reminds me kind of like how you were saying, like Stargirl, like Niche. To me, that's, that's Alvin. Kage. I think I can um, elaborate a bit more why Luke thinks he's kind of a C. The big hit will miss. It doesn't do a lot that much damage, and you need to crit. What really helps them is the crit damage up, um, and that's only if uh, if there's an evasion character on the other team. Otherwise, his role is really just all about meter. The thing I don't like about him is he lacks the AoE buff that Steppenwolf has, so... Step motion give your team AOE, Terminator up, and buffs. All man's kind of selfish. Only gives himself buffs and then a 50% chance to give someone else buffs. Um, I'm really not using him much after the buff move. Uh, yeah, he's kind of a tricky character to use. I still think he's good just because um, he makes other Terminator characters much better, like Katana or... Uh, I think it was someone else. I, oh, Deadshot, Suicide Squad. Characters who rely on crits and like gain meter from that, he's really cool for that. So I th that's why I still think he's a B. And Sheriff Lobo? Um, you know, I agree with what everybody else says. He's not Steppenwolf. I, I really have a problem with his um, third attack when somebody misses because somebody will miss. He'll use his third attack, and that misses also. And even, which is stupid, so that should either be can't miss when it retaliates or do something like Steppenwolf. When Steppenwolf, somebody misses and Steppenwolf uses his AoE, even if he misses, he still puts evasion down so it help, helps your team. Um, Owlman's good in, if you're facing evasion teams without Wonder Girl, I use him for that, but otherwise, yeah. B. M4. Any yeah, I yeah. I agree with everyone's points. Okay. So we have him as a C plus B. It looks like B mostly. So maybe C plus B minus somewhere along those lines. So moving on, we are revisiting Power Girl because we, many of us disagree with the original voting. Um, we have her as, I personally think she's S tier. One month I would let myself be convinced otherwise, but just facing her, using her, I've been using her more frequently, especially with Lex teams, because she you she starts with a taunt and then you can buff again, so that kind of helps teams. Sheriff Lobo, I know you've always thought she was an S tier. Any quick thoughts on her? Um, so that um, death immunity and zero turn taunt is still key. One of the... So I lost four matches this last siege, and one of the ones that I lost was because of Power Girl. So I had Swamp Thing. He did an out-of-turn attack. I didn't even actively attack her. An out-of-turn attack on Power Girl. And then she got turn meter up from that. She buffed, and then Black Adam destroyed my team. So I lost that match because of Power Girl. I still think she's an S. Kage, you're the one who's dissented, because I know M4 and Loot still think she's an A. You were the one who said she was too vulnerable, but I see you put her as S. What changed your mind? She... I still think she's very vulnerable, because she doesn't get that buff immunity, or the debuff immunity that Arcus gets when he taunts, so she's vulnerable to man bat, and she's going to kill your team because of that taunt. Whereas Arcus, if he just if he taunts up, you know he's he's immune. 
Um, she's still she's still a threat that you need to take account of uh, before your match. Uh, I don't know, man. He she's like a four point five in my mind. She's still really good. She's like Arcus, but does less damage. But she still gets the AOE to compensate. Man, she is. That's, well, and her taunt is a little more reliable. Yeah, I wish if if Arcus's taunt was like two turns, that'd be a little bit better. I still think she's a four point five on that borderline. Okay. Moving on, we have Ravager. I put her on here just because I've been using her a little more frequently, and I felt like she deserved a slightly higher than a C. M4, you agree? I see. Yeah, he, she's good. It's just that she can't utilize her full kit until we get more silence tunes, but otherwise, she's decent. And, um, Sheriff Lobo, you think she's a C? Yeah, I think she actually went down in my book after after her month was over. I I don't see much use in using her. She's slow. She's a scene. Okay. So we won't dwell on her because we already talked about her last month, but it looks like we'll, maybe we'll put her as a C plus, Kind of right on that borderline of B and C. Uh, Nick, moving on, we had Riddler. I didn't see him. I The more I play with him as a character I just think he's absolute trash tier. In fact I, I'm borderline F for me so I decided to add him to the list. Luke you're one of the few that agree with me it seems like everybody else still has him a little bit higher. I mean I, I don't see any reason. I for really him. don't have anything good to say about him except I only reason why I bought it was to use him in the raids and there's no reason to use him in the raids. M4, you have him as a B, so I'm curious as to your yeah. thoughts. I might be jaded because I really like his kit, but he is difficult to use and his AI is trash. So if you want to vote him down to a C, I'm fine with it. Well, he was already a C. I not... wanted to vote him down to a D. Oh, oh, no. oh no. He's the best debuffer in the game. I mean, downs, agility down, he's the only one I believe that can do that in one move. Yeah, I think he is. And then those speed downs, he he does speed downs even better than Mirror Master. Just because he's hard to use, he, he doesn't mean he's trash, right? Well, trash tier is F, so he's slightly better than that. <laughs> 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 I don't think I can win your hearts over, so fine, you can make him a D. <laughs> we'll give him a D plus. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think Riddle is actually pretty good. Uh, he's got his niche. Uh, you got to play to his strengths, which is to debuff. And people who benefit from debuffs, so like Katana or Constantine, you have to play, you have to, play to that. Uh, he's not going to be plug-and-play. I don't think he's a B per se, but you got to play to his niche. So it's, you know, in my mind, you got to play with him with like Stargirl, Swamp Thing, and Katana or something like that. I think he could be very, very useful there. So, yeah, he's. That's all I gotta say. Sheriff Lobo, any thoughts on him? No, nothing's changed in my mind since the last time I talked about him. All right, moving on. We had Stripe on here. I had him. We had him as an A. I, I think I partly pumped him up. I've used him more. I like him under Lex quite a bit, but I don't. I don't think he deserves A. I think he's more of a B character. Luke, you think he is a C, so I'll let you go first. Wait, wait, who are we talking about? Stripe. Stripe. I, I'm not a fan. I, I have no reason to use him. Um, he doesn't. He just doesn't. I can't really articulate what I don't like about him, but I can just say I, no need to use him at all, and I think he's a niche character. He needs that overheal, which Lex can give him, but Lex is the only one that can give that to him, basically. All the other overhealers kind of suck. Um, his AOE doesn't really do anything. His big stomp doesn't do much. He's got the call assist. I mean, He's very tanky. 
He does decent damage. Once he's ramped, he does really good damage. He's probably the tank, one like, of the tankiest reds. For me, he kind of fits into that Stargirl category. Like, he's not... He's usable. It's just... Why use him? What's the point? Anyone else have any um, thoughts on him before we move on? Nope. Moving on to Yellow Lantern Sinestro, who I've started to like a little bit more. Been using him a lot in the past two days. He definitely is not effed here anymore, but he definitely needs help. Problem is, is any buffing green that does enrage... Unfortunately, enrages the Wonder Girl, which <laughs> it's so sad that every single character has to have the Wonder Girl caveat, but it is what it is. No, I, I read on Reddit the other day. Someone made a very good point. Wonder Girl, they compared uh, Wonder Girl to Donald Trump where they're like, yeah, I mean, if you keep thinking about it, you're going to make your life really miserable or you just accept that she's there and you just kind of move on. Yeah. So, you know, you just accept Wonder Girl's there. But who cares? Just kill her. <laughs> yeah, but that does... Um, so even outside of Wonder Girl teams, he's not great. I would say he's C, borderline B, somewhere in that, that range in my mind. Um, I think Parallax and St. Walker might bump his stock up a little bit, but it's a little too early to tell until they come out. Um, Kage, what are your thoughts on him? You just got to play to his niche. Uh Stun and Enrage, that's what makes his kit. Um, not very impressive, but the damage is decent. He's more of a support type character. So the int downs are pretty nice. Um, the Enrage is more for... Con so he's a more of a control character, in my mind. He's not He's not going to be the MVP on anything. You have to use him like a control character, so control teams. With like Aquaman, Hal Jordan. Um, those kind of teams will really play to his strengths. I do. I, I was originally when I first started using them, I tried to do Enrage, and that just Enrage teams just they're not that great because too many characters have great basics. But when you play them with stuns, it's a lot better. And I have been using his intellect downs to neutralize characters like Lex, who do massive damage to your physical characters, and even even Black Manta and Lair Fleas do n near zero damage when you use his three. So if you play him as a control character. And then when he gets buffed up with Intellex, his three does surprisingly good damage, and you can sometimes use it multiple times in a row. So that that made him a little better in my mind. That, so I, I could actually give him a B, a low B maybe, but um, M4, what do you think? Uh, I don't see myself using him outside of Siege. That might change my mind. However, his uh, Burge... It's really good. Even against someone like Arcus, he's going to strip all of them off. So that's, he's, I think it's going to be his main use to strip Arcus. And I'm somehow disappointed with this AoE. I expect it to be like the Hal Jordan killer, but it's it's not so. Yeah. I think he's, I can't, I can't even vote, vote a B for him. Yeah, he may be the C this plus, guy. you know, kind of right on that, right on that border. Luke, your thoughts? I agree with everything you guys said. I mean, I, I think he's a C. I, he just he doesn't even seem reworked to me. That's the problem that I have. I, I can't tell the honestly, just can't tell the difference. So uh, I definitely maybe we tell need the difference. <laughs> maybe we need parallax. I, I don't know. Maybe we need more enrage. I don't know, but I, I don't know. I just can't tell the difference. Share your thoughts. Um, I think he's a lot better. Sinestro is one of those characters that I really want to like for some reason. I can remember like you know the first few days of playing the game, like when you first start on those first two nodes, Sinestro was awesome. Like he was great in PvE, and then you know as soon as you level up, he he falls behind. I I like his rework. Um, I you know I want to play with him. I've you know, tried a bunch of enraged teams, and you know they've worked okay. Like Ares and Grundy and Joker and Sinestro. That's fun to play with if you find the right opponent. I was playing with him, um, I guess last night and this morning because he was a, a Alliance bonus team, and I had a lot of red opponents. And his AOE actually would 
you know, sometimes one shot, two or three of the reds if I had, you know, used his enrage and first. So he's better, but I'm kind of torn between B and C. Yeah, maybe we'll give him a C plus. That seems like a good rating for him. Moving on, we had Siren on our, because she was a Siege bonus tune. I think I still had her as, I, I was like borderline CB for her, so um, not much has changed. Kage, I see you have her as a D, so I'll let you start. My biggest issue is why use her? When would you ever, like seriously, when would you ever use her? Uh, you have Black Manta, you have Joker, you have a ton of other really valuable bleeders. She's, yeah, she's, I mean, cool, she's a blue bleeder, but with bleeds, your affinity really doesn't matter. You just stack on that bleeds and let them kill themselves. And the evasions aren't very reliable for your offense. For defense, maybe she'll dodge a few bullets, but she's not doing a good, good job of surviving. I think, I mean, she's, I think she's better than a D, because she does decent damage, she can fit into the enraged teams somewhat, um, and the evasions are sometimes useful, even though they don't work for me. M4, I'll let you think, you value her almost a high C. Well, kind of like what Kage says, he's, she's okay, but I don't, I see zero reason to bring her. She's her evasion is awkward, right? It, it's it's not back in the day. It's good enough, but now you need that evasion up front. Otherwise, you're not gonna survive long. Yeah, it looks like we're based on scoring. We'll keep her as a C. So let's um, let's just move on. Since there's not much changed, unless anybody has any uh, strong opinions on something. Next character on the list was Steppenwolf. Not sure why we put him on here. Maybe that was me. I got a little overzealous. A um, couple of us have him as an A over an S. Sheriff Lobo, I see you have you bumped him down to an A, so I'll let you start. I mean, I think he's still great. Uh, you know, obviously his buffs make his team a liability for Wonder Girl. He's less useful now than he was a few months ago, but he's still good. But I, you know, he's no longer S for me. Loot, you still have him as an S, so I'll let you. Uh... Yeah, I don't. I don't think anything changed in my mind. To he, to me, he's still as good as he was last month or the month before. I think other leaders. That buff have kind move of... is fantastic. I mean, yeah, there's other good leaders, but evasion is still a thing. Um, there, we have a lot of tools to deal with it, but he does it the best, and. He gives good turn meter. He gives those crit up. He gives hit chance up. He does. He does that AOE if you miss with the evasion downs. I just think he's amazing. So uh, my vote stays the same. Let me just butt back in, and I, I would say that the two things that he does really good dealing with the uh, evasions and the you know like the the increased damage, crit chance up, speed up. Hal Jordan and Lex do those two things better. So, like, with Steppenwolf, you know, you want to kind of, like, build your, your crit and your damage up over time. Lex does that. Evasion, now, you know, it's always Harley Quinn and Wonder Girl. Hal takes care of Harley, then you can take her out without, you know, getting whipped to death. So that's why I bumped him down to an A. All right, moving on. We have. I, I mean, I agree with you. They're valid reasons. Definitely, for sure. Moving on, Swamp Thing is the next Siege bonus character. I think I still lean A, though. I could be persuaded down to a B. He's a very, very good character. Um, you know, the revive, if the star system wasn't a thing, he'd be a solid A, no problem. Um, strong character. He's still a little nervous when you face him because that... His three is strong. The permanent bleeds are strong. The buffs, especially with Lex, are obscene. Um, men's are strong. So pretty solid all the way around character. Sheriff Lobo, I see you bumped him down to a B, so we'll let you start. 
Um, I, I really like Swamp Thing, and I, I used him a lot, and I used him mainly for the men's. I used him a lot in Red Alerts, but now to kind of like, you know, build your team and overheal completely, White Lantern, Sinestro, and now Lex, of course, does kind of the overheal. I always forget about his three, but it does awesome damage. But most of the time when I bring him, I'm bringing him for kind of like the, the men's and buffs, and he's kind of been outshined in that regard. So that's why I bumped him down. And Lou, you have a 3.5, so... What did I make him? A B plus? Yeah. I don't... I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not a fan. I, I don't like... I don't like death tunes. I just... I, I really despise the whole death thing. You know, like... The revives and, and all that. And I, you know what? If they were to make some changes in the game that didn't penalize us for when tunes die, I would think Swamp Thing would be an S tier tune. But you're basically you're bringing him most of the time because he'll revive your whole team. Yeah, I used him on Revenge more. I, I like, find I never use uh, him, but I'm still. I don't. I expecting. I hate that. Like I just I hate that we get penalized for it. And I have no desire to to lose a star. Like, it's just not my thing. I don't want to just win with, like, one or two stars. I want to win with three stars. So if I want to win with three stars, I usually don't bring Swamp Thing. All right, M4, what are your thoughts on Swampy? Uh, he's still very good. However, like everyone says, he's, well, he's a great defensive dude because when he's out there you have to account for him right because he's gonna bring everything everyone back most of the time the reason he's bumped down is because you never want to use him on offense because you're penalized like luke says for dying and kage i think he'd be a I think he'd be an S tier character if it weren't for the star system. But still think he's solid. A he makes your team better with the overheals, the debuff purging, the crit up. So I mean I really like using him from time to time. I think he's a little bit power crept, but he's still really good. Alright, moving on. We have Ultraman, who was one of the new characters that we really haven't got to use for real, real long yet. But we um, who recently came out has a pretty interesting solid kit. I'm not as a lot of people are pretty high on him. I'm not as high. I don't find even with against the Z characters and different things, I didn't find him to be that useful. He's pretty tanky. He's pretty solid. The debuff immunity is great. It is only one turn though, so that limits it a little bit. And there's some caveats to it. And then um, moving the debuffs is pretty good, but I just find that it doesn't. You can't move enough of them fast enough for it to really make a big difference in the match because the way the meta is based around speed and high damage at this point, and he's more of a longer term control tune. So I have him as a B. Kage left him off, so we'll skip you. Let's go to M4 first. You have him as a, you voted him the highest. I want him to be an A because he's such a fun character to use. However, his like you mentioned he has a lot of limitations. All right, so one is, why did they have to put that 25% per alive uh, opponent? Because you can get around the cooldown with Donna Troy. And he's so much fun to use against Man Bat because he's special damage and he throws everything back. Use him with uh, villains, and he just uses the basic a lot when facing bleeds or disease tombs. But yeah, his his weakness is, is yeah. For one, after that AOE, you don't know what to do with him, and he just constantly you know taunts, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> he's fun to use, but yeah, he's I don't think he's going to ever be meta. How about you, loot? Are we talking about Ultraman? Yeah, you have him as a yes. B currently. Yeah, I I think he's a B. I think he's fun. Um, I think he's useful. I think he's totally usable, but he's not quite an A, and he's definitely not a C. So, I, I like him. I have nothing bad to say about him. I think he's pretty awesome. He does a you lot of cool like stuff. Him. 
he got the words finest, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I do have to admit, if anybody didn't notice, I'll say it now. I did take both of the tunes to L1 day one of availability. So I did do that. And yes, I do think Ultraman did give me an edge in Siege. I'll tell you that flat out. It was, I do not regret it. It was totally fine. Um, That's because Siege is pay to win, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, <laughs> pay to win. <laughs> man. People he, can he, say he whatever they me. want, but you know what? <laughs> we beat Lucas. Thank you very much. And the RB5 Black Adam that he had that definitely. We beat his RB5 Black Adam that he definitely paid for. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, is it pay you to know, win? I, I would rather say instead of pay to win, it's pay to play. Yes, I agree with that. <laughs> Siege is pay to play, not pay to win. Which Kage coming in second place and almost, you know, had he not quit, that is a, coming first that You know he thing. didn't quit, know, right? So. He actually ran out of energy. I know, I'm just messing with him. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> he, he, him and Hype Dog pulled that prank that made it look like he... Just gave up. On I was like, Grim pulled that are prank. you kidding me? I was so and mad. And then, like, I was looking at the pictures over and over and over again, and M4 was looking at the pictures, and we were like, wait a second. First of all, the gems are totally different. The essence <laughs> looks different. When, we couldn't even figure out when the picture was taken, let alone that somebody else took it. <laughs> I was so mad at Kage. I've never been that mad at Kage. I'm just like, I cannot believe <laughs> Wait, why but did you get honestly, mad at me, though? I told you, I told you why I would lose. I don't know why you got mad at me. <laughs> if you had that energy, though, you would have had a chance. No, it's, it's no, no. He would be no, because even even if I did have that energy stocked up, I would have lost by one be point. Too short. Too I mean, short. one point short of winning. All right. Yeah, I think we did the math. It would have been one or two points. Yeah, like literally been. one or two trophies. Moving on, well, let's share with Lobo. What's your thoughts on Ultraman? And somebody's got um, something crunching in the background. Oh, sorry about that. I was doing my kids' medication. I agree with what everybody said. I think it's really cool that um, uh, Ultraman kind of works off of villains. So if you can build a good villain team, he's a lot of fun to do that way. And I also want to say that I think we need some better blue villains. I know we have Black Adam, but like. I don't like to use Black Adam in PvP because if you do, then he's the only one who ever goes and attacks. So we need some better blue villains besides Black Adam to slot in with those teams as an aside. Joker is cheering in the background right now. So is he all about those mystic villains? Vandal Savage, maybe. Maybe one day. Mm-hmm. That would be nice. Mm-hmm. He's mystical, isn't he? He could mm-hmm. be, yeah. I mean, you could yeah. Yeah. make an argument for it, yeah. Uh, looks like Kage, you added Wally West to the voting block as an A. You were a sheriff. Yeah, yeah. Me, well, sheriff started it, but I oh, okay. I thought about it. I actually thought about it, and I think Wally West is a solid character. Um, I think he's the reason I lost Siege, and I he's also the reason I won Siege or won matches in Siege. Sorry. Um, I needed to, t- to go first. If you want your team to go first and you don't like using Brainiac, use Wally West. Um, if you need to one-shot Reds, Wally West is your guy. Wally West and Siege one-shot my Owlman several times, and that really made me mad. So he's a very good character. I think with the Lex meta coming up too, his stock riot, his stock went up as well. So that's why I think he's an A. I agree. If the uh, if the speed meta is coming back, then you know he's king well, along with Brainiac. But you know he, as far as the speedsters go, he's the fastest. And not only is he the fastest, but then he gives speed up and turn meter up uh, to the rest of your team. So he does speed speed up. Great for the speed meta. Uh, paired with Lex, the buffs is awesome. His evasion and cheat death in Siege helped him survive. Really strong blues like Atrican and Black Adam. And in with the speed ups and buffs from Lex, he was pretty deadly against Red. So, 
And I'll also say Siege AI is so effing ridiculous. I would play against Wally West ten times in a row, and he would always, the AI would start with his third, and the one time that I did not account with it and said, okay, he's going to start with his third. I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, of course, time. the one time I didn't account for it, he opens with his second AI. Yeah, he opened with a second a lot against me. I I couldn't no longer rely on it because I made that mistake. I I did so bad that that was like my worst siege ever. I did so terrible on it. M4, you still have him as a B. Yeah, I, all of those things are good, but I, it's not enough for me to bump him up to an A. And you know how I hate the flex speed speed meta so. Luke. You still have Mizabi as well. I, you know, I you have to appreciate that though, because I thought he was one of the worst tunes in the game for a long for a long time. I was saying he is just total trash, and this past siege completely changed my view on Wally West. I think he's a solid B. Okay, so maybe it's we'll... the it's the it's the Lex effect though. It's it's yeah. not him. It didn't change. It's it's Lex. And Brainiac shuts him down. I mean, just put Brainiac, and then there's more than a handful of dudes that will go before Wally West. Luke. Right, so then bring B12 and Wally West. <laughs> yeah, like some jerk-off that did in Siege numerous times. <laughs> Whoever did that in Siege, and then everybody copied, did you have to. You. Whoever goes first. <laughs> All right, moving on. Last couple characters here. Um, I see we had a Wonder Woman Defender of Justice voting, and for some reason, I'm really surprised by this, but it looks like across the board, with the exception of me, everyone has her as a D. Which I was I mean, going through this listen. She's not a B. She just dies. Yeah, I agree. Maybe a C, but a D. I mean, is she worse than Jay Garrick? And she's worse than what does she she's do? Terrible. Well, terrible. What does, does she, she do? do? Well? Yeah. Why does she... Okay, since we're all saying she's a D character, tell us why you think she's a C character. Oh, she still has the evasion removal. She still can one-shot she green. Dies on remo she dies on retaliation. Yeah, she will die so, on retaliation. So AoE? It, yeah, assuming so it's MJ, any AoE? other evasion character. So if it's just Batgirl, you're fine. With no MJ. So. Mm. I know that's rare. But okay, so aside from that... It's she, unsafe, but she, go ahead. Her two is a can't miss purge, which is still useful, and one shots greens pretty regularly. She still, if there isn't hired gun dead shot or booster gold, she will survive as a leader, taunting. I don't think she's a great character. She she's a C, but I thought D might be a bit a bit extreme. Her rolling basic, which spreads the buffs, is still fairly useful. I just faced a a team not too long ago where she surprised me and one shot at my lax. With her basic, because she had some strength, a couple strength ups from Wonder Girl. So Wonder Girl carried that fight, not DOJ. I killed Wonder Girl on the first turn after she buffed, but with Connor Kent, by the way. <laughs> so I have a video of that match, I think, actually. But I mean, she's not she's not a good a great character, but I she's usable, which I kind of think puts her as a C. I think Coda should also go down to D with her no no I would, way i would yeah never. i think i'll agree with that yeah i yeah. you know what i i vote d for coda okay so we're adding coda to the list d i mean yeah let's do it how is she a d she does decent damage so she retaliate she retaliates but the odds aren't high she does the causes the odds aren't high she gives meter up to the team odds aren't high i think you're just trying to push to get her reworked by voting her down she, she's <laughs> probably gonna get a rework anyway but I'm just saying, it's not. She in the state of the game right now, she's been power crept pretty badly. Both Wonder Women. I've been using Coda a lot on Lex teams actually, and I find them pretty good because those strength ups to the whole team, plus the call assist. I mean, it, even I get a call assist occasionally with her, so it's not that bad. I mean, if you start your argument with, I brought him with Lex. <laughs> I think you're just kidding. Well, even outside of Lex kidding. team, I've been using her on yeah, teams with. These Connor characters a lot. aren't very good with. These characters aren't very good without their S tier counter uh, leaders. Exactly, to carry them. which is a C character. A D character means they're borderline unusable, which I don't find her unusable. 
I still think she's decent DOJ? enough. DOJ? Really? You're, are you really going to bring DOJ as a taunt her, taunter, though? Yeah, DOJ with Donna Troy. She taunts. She always has awareness. Why not just bring just Donna Troy and, you know, you can use that slot to bring someone else? I just don't well, see... Well, you can say that about any C character. I'm that just not seeing it. Doesn't mean they're a D, but... I'm just not seeing the value. Because she's, she's going to die when she taunts. Once she gets that taunt up, she's dead. She just doesn't have the stats to, like, back her up. Okay, so... It looks like I lost that argument. So, the DOJ is a D. But let's... Coda, what are your vote M4? Mm. Loot. D. Man, you guys are harsh. So, Sheriff... You put a would, you put a C on Coda as well. I would put Coda above DOJ. DOJ with a taunt, she dies immediately. You can protect Coda. And since Arcus came out, I've been you know playing around in red alerts with like some retaliation teams. So we have like POT and Batwoman and Coda and Arcus together. And every turn, every attack, somebody retaliates, and that's pretty fun. But I, you know, she's not, she's not great. She definitely needs some boosts in her, you know, probabilities to activate her moves and legendaries. So are we saying we would take Coda over, or we would take Vixen over Coda? Because she's a C. No, I would not. Okay. Vixen needs help too, man. I would, I, I wouldn't, you can flip a coin. I think they're both bad. So Vixen needs help. Definitely. Maybe Vixen needs to be a D as well. <laughs> yeah, because she doesn't do I anything am well. Totally in favor of putting Vixen as a D. Me too. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, the more that. I think about it, because I think Vixen's just all over the place. <laughs> well, she has does one nothing move. well. She's got that that charge move, which nowadays it's not that good compared to what other tunes, the new tunes have. She just she does nothing well. She needs to have, like, she tries to do too many things. She needs to have one thing that she's really good at, not four things that she's, that she's not good at. See, I mean, I'm looking at it like Grundy. I would take Coda over Grundy any day of the week. Dude, I'd make really? Grundy a D. I think he's terrible. Because <laughs> I actually put him on, and then I was like, Grundy yeah. at least is, gets tanky and gets ramped up while you hit him. I mean, he, I think he dies before he gets ramped. I still I still can't believe you you we you guys would take Redler over Coda. Definitely. I wouldn't take Redler over Coda. I wouldn't take either of them. <laughs> there, we I think we have this I think we have this we're almost defining a new tier. Yeah. Right now. And the new tier that we're defining is this tune needs a rework. Yeah, I almost think we should just get rid of C and or D and F and just put rework. As a, a, I, I actually, I agree, I would totally I wonder, stand by that yeah. statement. Let's, because cause half, half, cause half the C-tunes are usable, and you know you want to take them up, and then the other half is like, they're bad, and they're, they're nation, they're bad. Like, Stargirl doesn't need much. Like, she's usable, but then the, the, the other half of the C-characters are like, why would you use them? I, I still think Coda's in that half i could i could bring her into battle she needs help but i can bring her in the battle and not feel like i'm completely at a disadvantage by bringing her so i don't think she's quite that low but uh, well well we're at an hour and 23 minutes so let's let's bring that offline and we'll, maybe we'll talk about that for the next go around mm -hmm. yeah let's 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 wrap up this uh, yeah. podcast we have zatanna last right yeah zatanna last um i see a few people want to put her as d I personally think she's almost, I think she's a B, so I don't have her that I, low. Kage, you're the one who has her as a D. Oh, I meant to put C on Zatanna. And she was already a C. Um, oh, all right, yeah. M4, you have her as a D? Uh, it's, she's kind of borderline. She's the only one who has two in down moves, but she's so slow, and the heal is useless now because everyone like heals for free, so... It's going to waste. Loot still has her as a C. Sheriff, I see you also agree with me on a B, so we'll leave her as a C. That's what the scoring model... Wait, I have her as a C? Yeah. I want her as a D. I want her in rework territory. 
Well, C is a rework territory. It's like it's still usable, but you could use a rework. That's kind of what a C is. Oh, okay. D okay, is okay. I need a rework, and I'm not that usable. F is I'm not usable at all. Got it. Okay. Kind of, kind of how we. So we'll we'll wrap it up there. Well, let, let me just talk about this on a really quick. Sure. If if you think about it, she in um, uh, Green Arrow, Emerald Archer, they're two of the originals that have never gotten a real uh, rework, but they're still playable. So I think Zatanna does some, you know, pretty cool things still, even though her overheal, you know, or her heal needs to be, you know, reworked and changed. But she's still, Pat, like, she can do some major damage to your green steel, and she always purges, so she actually... And those intellect downs are more useful than they used to be. Yeah. Uh, d does the purge miss or no? I can't remember. The purge never misses. Oh, she has purge the, on the two damage moves, right? She has, two, she yes. has the purge. The mm -hmm. Oh. You know, I, I'll put her as a B. I think she's power crept. She could use a stat boost, but and she could use the overheal, but I think she's solid as is. Yeah, I mean, she's she just needs... Yeah, I, I don't think she would mean much, and she... That double purge is more... I mean, I don't use her that often, but I always forget about her, kind of. I think she's one of the things you, you can bring her in. The weakest, part of, the weakest part of her kid is probably her leadership. That needs to be changed. Mm. Yeah. I, I make her. She could. She could. She could be a cool character. So we'll mm -hmm. wrap it up there because we're creeping up on an hour and a half. But we'll we'll talk about possibly changing the tier list, potentially again, because you know we want to give our artists more work to do. And once <laughs> again, we appreciate you, Brian. I know you're not even playing the game anymore, but still doing this. So we may be calling on another artist out there eventually if Brian decides he doesn't want to do this anymore. But we appreciate you doing it in the meantime. And thank you very much. Hey guys, this is Mrs. Ogre Barbarian. Thank you for listening to WORL Broadcast. If you like the show, consider becoming a patron. Just go to patreon.com slash WORL Broadcast. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Imagine if Kage didn't give up so early on 